What's going on everyone? So I made a video a little over four years ago about mistakes that older guys make trying to look youthful. I barely knew what I was doing back then. I wasn't very good on camera, but for whatever reason, that video kind of took off and went viral and basically put me on the YouTube map four years ago. I got a lot of hate for making that video, but I also got a lot of praise. And if you haven't seen it, I'll link to it up here and also down below in the video description. So over the last four years, since that video came out, I mean, I've made hundreds more videos talking all about men's style, but for whatever reason, I haven't revisited this topic until today. But really quick, if you don't know me yet, I'm John, and the entire reason this channel exists is to help prove that you're never too old and it's never too late to make a change in your life or start something new. And in my experience, I would say most guys want to look stylish, they just don't know where to start. And that's kind of why I'm here. Now look, I do realize that this video isn't for everyone and I understand that and that's totally fine. But in that original video, pretty much everything I said was pretty solid and accurate information. But maybe because I was still earning my stripes in front of the camera, the delivery could have been a little better. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to take another stab at it today with, I think, a more current approach. Because let's face it, as men age, it's natural to want to maintain a sense of relevance and youthfulness in our appearance. However, in the pursuit of looking trendy and current, a lot of older guys make mistakes with their style that can actually make them look outdated or even foolish because so many guys make the mistake of wearing clothes that are either too casual or too formal for that occasion. And that gives the impression that these guys don't know what they're doing. All right, so one common mistake that older guys make is dressing in a style that's just no longer appropriate for their age. Now, this includes wearing clothes that are too baggy or too tight or trying to imitate fashion trends that are targeted to much younger men. And here's what happens. Wearing clothes that are poorly fitted or too trendy can make a guy look older than he actually is. And again, I realize everyone's different, but older men, 40s and up, should generally choose clothing that fits well and flatters their particular body shape. Classic styles, tailored suits, well-fitted dress shirts, and slim cut trousers are all great options. Now, I'm not saying that you have to wear a suit or a sports jacket every day, but maybe just take a minute and analyze yourself. If you're wearing the same things that your 17 year old son is wearing, I think that's your sign. It's probably time for an upgrade. Okay, so let's talk specifics. A few clothing items to avoid are graphic t-shirts, sportswear, and overly casual clothing. These items can make an older guy look immature and unprofessional. Instead, invest in stylish, high quality, classic pieces like button up shirts, polo shirts, sweaters, blazers, and non-distressed jeans. So for example, instead of going with a hoodie, maybe go for a sweater. Instead of sweatpants, go with a well-fitting pair of denim. And instead of wearing your athletic shoes, go with a classic, minimal, high quality sneaker. Now, another item to avoid is just too much jewelry and too many accessories. I mean, a nice watch and a ring and a nice pair of shoes are great accessories that can, of course, enhance your outfit, but too many accessories are distracting and overbearing. Try to keep the rings and bracelets to a minimum because a simple, understated style is just more flattering and age appropriate than trying to be overly flashy or overly trendy. It's also important to be mindful of the colors that you choose, right? Because an excessive use of bright colors and bold patterns can be a bit overwhelming and can make you look older. I made a video a few months back talking all about color theory and matching color to skin tone and a lot more. So I would definitely consider checking that video out after this one. I'll put a link right up here and also down below. Now, in terms of shoes, men over 40 should avoid wearing athletic shoes or shoes that are just worn out because that can make you look neglectful. A casual dress shoe or a loafer, that's gonna make you look a lot more polished and put together. But look, I totally get it. I live in Southern California and casual culture here is huge. So if you are more of a sneaker guy, just swap out the athletic sneakers for a nice pair without all the graphics. I mean, you're still wearing sneakers, just a nicer, more grown up version. 
Another thing older men should avoid is wearing clothes that are just too trendy or flashy. Now, of course, it's nice to stay current with fashion trends, but trying too hard to be trendy can make guys look just out of touch and will also give the impression that they're just trying way too hard to look young. Instead, older guys should focus on building a wardrobe with timeless, well-fitting, classic clothing items that will always be in style. I mean, it's nice to be aware of what's happening with menswear trends, and I do encourage you to see like what's out there on the mannequins when you're out shopping, because one of the last things that we want as men is to look outdated and irrelevant. So that brings up the question, how do I know if the clothes that I have in my closet are outdated? So look, if you want me to make that video showing examples of outdated and out of style pieces within the next like week or so, please let me know down in the comments and I'll totally do it. I think that when you boil it all down, guys just wanna look cool, relevant, and have a personal style that's appropriate for most situations. And that's what I try to help with on this channel. So look, the video that I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna put a link to it right here on the screen to make it very easy for you to go check that one out. And one more thing, if you've made it this far, you are one of the true legends. Thank you so much for watching, live well, and I'll see you in the next one.